It is the 22nd of the 4th, 2013. And this is your radioactive reality. Kind of change the backdrop a little bit, rearrange the house. Headline news, starting with E&E. &E. Witnesses say massive cover-up of BP oil disaster in the Gulf of Mexico. Biggest fires ever in the world. More oil spilled than ever publicly admitted. Now we all know this if you've been following my channel for any length of time. Uh, the BP oil disaster has been ongoing. Very, very eye-opening read. Code 3 alert at giant Louisiana sinkhole. Of course, this is Bayou Corn. 10 very long profile seismic signals. Surface movement on the west side. This thing continues to settle, and it will settle for years and years to come. Uh, here's a story. Uh, attack on U.S. nuclear power plant. Uh, an unidentified suspect fired multiple rounds at security officer on patrol at the Watts Bar nuclear plant early Sunday morning. At least one round hit the security officer's vehicle, an official said. The Tennessee Valley Authority nuclear security officer fired back, also shooting multiple rounds. The suspect appeared to have initially been on the ground, but may have fled in a boat. TVA spokesman uh, Jim Hobson said, Some information can't be released yet, such as the identity of the security officer, or it is not available, such as the total number of rounds fired. Hobson didn't have a description of the suspect. Quote, many of the details I won't be able to share, he said. Interesting. Fire nuclear power plant triggers major emergency response. Noise and smoke still coming from the site. This is out of Cleveland. Uh, fire to nuclear plant triggered a major response by emergency services after smoke was seen billowing in the air. Police and fire crews were called to Hartlepool Power Station around 6.30 p.m. on Saturday after the blaze broke out while a turbine was being reactivated. The fire caused smokes to billow from the plant, but Cleveland police said it was drifting away from nearby homes. Fire extinguished the blaze, but remained on site as a precaution. These aging, old nuclear power plants. Magnitude 6.7 earthquake rocks Japan, followed by intensity 4 quake in Fukushima. Very unstable region. What a perfect place for nuclear reactors, don't you think? I got a new study, Boston, New England, at greatest tsunami risk in the United States. Twelve quakes at the edge of the continental shelf in the past year. Back in 1929, a tsunami killed 27 and destroyed thousands of homes. You can only imagine um, the difference between 1929 and 2013 as far as uh, population along the coast. On the Atlantic Ocean, uh, footage after a burp at Giant Sinkhole. Tree sinking straight into the ground and liquid shifting back and forth. Of course, that's the Bayou Corn. Over to Fukushima Diary uh, Daily News. I've got a couple stories I wanted to cover. Debris stopped, uh, stopping spent fuel pool of Reactor 3 from fully being covered. Uh, TEPCO is announcing they covered the spent fuel pool number 3, uh, but there was a big section that they can't cover because there's still debris plying out of that. Um, they said they were going to attempt to pull that debris out of the spent fuel pool in phase two of their cleanup project, which is already um, insanely behind schedule. TEPCO stopped cooling system of spent fuel pool reactor number two after finding two rats in the power transformer. Now this just goes to prove that they don't have any secondary, secondary systems uh, set up for these spent fuel pools and these reactors in Fukushima. Um, they are kicking the can down the street and they are just getting enough done to get by. And finally today on Informable, informable News, uh, former chair, chairman of the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, Gregory Jaxco, has uh, been appointed to a little known panel with National Security, a Nuclear Security Administration this week. The Congressional Advisory Panel was created in 2013 by the National Defense Authorization Act. It will include 12 congressionally appointed members and will work to make recommendations to improve operations accumulating in a report due in February of 2014. The embattled former chairman recently made headlines around the world when he was quoting a saying that all the operation nuclear power plants in the United States should be shut down 
due to serious design flaws. And that's just the way it is. That's about all I got for you today. Of course, uh, if I missed anything, please leave your comments or videos below. Enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.